my warm greetings to one and all present here all the dignitaries all the learned people who have gathered here on the beautiful location of world ip day and the celebrations which are being done with indian patent office in collaboration with aicte mic to disseminate the information among all the stakeholders across the country about the importance of intellectual property baudhik sampada as i always say no country can ever ever reach to become a robust economy until and unless that country moves forward and works genuinely and seriously in protecting the ip and not only protecting the ip once it is done through the best possible means then try to commercialize try to generate revenues so ip has to be a valuable asset and in line of that through innovation self at aicte what we are trying to do since past one year we have started a program named kapila under this program that is named after our ex president dr apj abdul kalam kalam program for ip literacy and awareness we started under this program a few kind of uh, small small events uh, to engage our faculty members to engage our uh, students across the country in various colleges uh, through our establishments iics which we have done institutions innovation councils and i like to thank everyone who has participated so far and who are trying to gain the maximum out of it under this program we are trying to invoke we are trying to imbibe the culture of innovation ip ip generation then filing that ip securing the ip rights and then taking that particular course friends in ip domain and i am sure you all are aware of in many lectures of ours we have said and the data is presented uh, that china is way far leading in filing international applications they are filing in tune of uh, 15 lakhs and then us is filing in tune of 7 lakhs and india we see around 60000 applications per annum uh, we genuinely need to increase this filing rate as of now i believe it's just like i always compare this phase with our own lives as a human life what we do so after taking birth it is a time of uh, we spend few time in prime then we you know uh, start scrolling then we start standing then we start taking small small steps generally it is being termed as baby steps then we learn to walk learn to walk in a steady manner and then we starts running sprinting running and take the lead so these are all a kind of phases in a very similar manner if we take it in ip and in protection of ip we are at the stage of prime as of now i say at the prime stage uh, where like we human lives are being nurtured in a similar manner uh, i believe the ip knowledge 
and the filing of IP. It needs nurturing. It may take another few years where we all will understand what is to be done and in what manner. It's again similar, just like learning by the experience. Many people say that uh, we, what will happen when we are going to increase the number of filing. So I very candidly say, let's increase the number of filing today. Down the line tomorrow, we'll understand what to file. Down the line next year, we will understand what not to file. Down the line another year, we will understand what has to be there in that application. Down the line next year, we will understand what is the kind of uh, drafting or the claims or the value add features we need to do in during our ideation process that has to be filed in IPR. So it is again a gradual process. Considering that, coming back to our Kapila program, we proposed and we received the approval from our competent authorities to provide the matching grant to the institutions. Like if an institution is filing 20 applications, we would be providing the grant for 10 applications in terms of filing fee and the examination fee. You all will be really delighted to know and I'm sure again this information is very well disseminated. Earlier what used to happen in our Indian context I am talking about, IP is being filed many times because of the fee constraints. Individual inventors, they used to file on their own name and themselves as an applicant citing their address as an institution. But friends, to all the faculty members, to all the students who are listening to me, please understand, we are working for an organization and if an IP is being generated by utilizing the infra of that organization, applicant should be there as an organization and to the organizations there must be some clear-cut policy that what inventors would be gaining out of it. There are a lot of policies that has been even proposed by our own innovation cell under national innovation and startup policy. All of you can go there, all of you can look into what kind of uh, percentages and all other granularities are there which can be considered while uh, drafting our own IP policy of uh, your own institution and how things are to be taken forward. Major step has happened last year, August 17, 2021, when Honorable Minister Shri Piyush Goelji announced a landmark thing in our IP regimen by reducing the fee for academic institutions to 80%. So I believe then there is no stop or no blockage for our institutions and earlier the hefty fee they were paying it is now at par with individuals. We need to join hands together. We need to understand the critical nature of this whole IP regimen and come forward in protecting our ideas. There are many situations where we may think, yes, this is an IP and it is to be deployed for masses at large. Certainly, we should do that. Certainly, we should move ahead in that direction. But after protecting our IPRs, as an applicant, as an inventor, you guys have to decide what to do thereafter. But 
take a step forward taking those steps and these steps after steps can only make us leap forward my dear colleagues peers and everybody all the student and the academic fraternity out there please work together i am sure this whole week the way it is being celebrated it is being formed to provide you the desired information lot and lot of ip would be generated and would be filed thank you so much and all the very best once again thanks to the organizers and the management of the institutions wherever you are listening me and all the departments who join hands to take it forward my colleagues professor unnat pandit ji dr abhay jere our higher authorities professor anil sasabuddhe professor mp punia professor rajiv thanks to everyone who made this possible dr ellen dr sonal who are running the kapila program i am sure together we will be able to achieve today what looks impossible and bring our country the pride we always desire for all the very best thank you so much